They won't even see me. Ignore me, I'm not even here. Bird up. They won't even see me. They won't even see me. Bird up. Yeah, they won't even see me. If you don't like it, you can all go fuck yourselves. Bird up. We got our hands on the final artifact. You can take possession of the whole set at any time. Thank you, Commander, and well done. You're every bit as resourceful as I've been led to believe. I think the odds are stacking in our favor. You better hope so. Delivering this artifact thing right to Kerrigan's doorstep, we're gonna need all the luck we can get. Rest easy. We'll have the might of the Dominion fleet behind us. Right. Everything is in motion to begin the final act. The invasion of the primary Zerg Hive on Char. Once we begin, there will be no turning back. Ensure that you are fully prepared, Commander. Destiny awaits. General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice, clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the Swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeri! I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. Care to explain yourself, boy? Well, Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience to... You ain't alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. Neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Prince Valeria, we have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? Damn it! 
told him a frontal assault wasn't gonna work. She was playing with us the whole time. Well, brother, we're alive at least. Looks like the few battle groups that did make it to the surface are scattered all over the place. Do you think death is the worst thing that can happen to you here? Infestation is what's coming for you. Soon all will start to swarm. There she goes again hacking the Terran Wi-Fi. Do you people not believe in firewalls? She's trying to get in our heads, man. We gotta keep it together. If we're gonna pull this caper off, we need to rally as many survivors as we can. Commander, Dominion battle groups are still landing all around you, but they're in pretty bad shape and coming under heavy attack from the Zerg. All right. Let's get out there and rescue their sorry butts. We need to pull together a real fighting force, or we won't have a prayer to stop in Kerrigan. What's that? This better be good. Commander, tactical analysis indicates the Zerg greatly outmatch your current forces. Lay it on me! Matt, keep me updated on those drop pods as they get to Char. If we can reach enough of them before the Zerg, we might just have a chance of fighting our way through this. Move it. Sir, I'm tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close to your position any second. All right. Let's get out there and find him before the Zerg do. I'm all about that. Oh, it's on. Got it. Command here. You men fall in with us, and we'll see to finding your general. Yes, sir. I so love the way you kindle their hope, Jim. By all means, bring them all to my doorstep. It'll be like lambs to the slaughter. Don't listen to her. Stay focused, and we'll make it out of here together. With the gear. Roger. A few moments later. Service. Mayday, Mayday, this is General Warfield. My ship is taking terrible, terrible damage. General Warfield just entered God Mode. Fucking cheating prick. No! Get the camera! Warfield, to any Dominion base, please General, just hold on. Damn, can't even hear us. The only way we're getting a war field is straight through those Nidus worms. <laughs> Some invasion. Our allies' base is under attack. Yes, okay. Oh, Not enough energy. Our allies' base is under attack. Oh. Our allies' base is under attack. Our 
allies' base is under attack. Like old Warfield still alive and kicking. Needed some help. We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. for the rescue, but I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Brainer, but whatever happens, you've saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Fringe fest cliche. Fuck you, Blizzard. I love you, but also, fuck you. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These plastic critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in the galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tigers, but we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead, we ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tigers. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. How are you holding up, General? Uh, 
Damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. They ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. We've secured our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. You know, I've been thinking. It scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please ain't exactly conducive to our health and well-being. Well, placing charges at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? Well, it's dangerous, but it could work. Bigger problems still, they're flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. We take that down, we'll own the air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Rayner. I'd rather take on those giant worms over Zerg flying units any day of the week, and twice on Sunday. Even though the underground mission is way more fun. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface, but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Rayner. The Zerg Flyers are using this old orbital platform as their base of operations. It's actually made up of several smaller platforms, tethered together in geostationary orbit. The nests are too deep inside to destroy with a bombardment, but clearing the whole thing with ground forces will be costly. Adjutant, what's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. Core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg infestation. Perfect. There's your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rayner. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. Sir, I'm scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. Got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. Is writhing. Once we blow those coolant towers, it won't matter. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. SCB ready. Go ahead. Not enough minerals. Yes, Commander. Call the ball. Add-on complete. Add-on complete. SCB ready. Two hours later. Upgrade complete. Base 
base I'll is under big. attack. Upgrade complete. That should about do it. Good to see you on your feet, General. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. Naga artifacts been assembled. I hope to God it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Bedding our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fury, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for. Wait a fucking minute. Who the fuck is Private Coiter? Is he Rainer's twin brother? Is he Jimmy Hoffa's long lost son? What the fuck are you doing, Blizzard? Way to ruin the rallying speech with this bullshit. Some things are just worth fighting for. Apparently, those things are Private Fucking Coiter. Look at it. It's like I can hear voices in my head. Sooner we're done with this thing, the better. Agreed. Right now, this artifact is the most important weapon in the universe. And we're going to use it. I just wish the damn thing came with an instruction manual. For all we know, we could be upsetting the entire space-time continuum. Easy, Tychus. This ain't science fiction. Final push. You ready for this? 
That I am, partner. Hell, we're gonna be the guys that kill the Queen of Blades. Genuine heroes. Old Mance might even give you a pardon. Get one thing straight, Tigus. If Valerian's right, and this artifact can turn Kerrigan human again, I'm taking her away from this place. You hear what I'm saying? I hear you, Jimmy. And I know you want to believe she can come back. But after all the misery she's caused, well, let's just say some folks don't deserve second chances. I'll be the judge of that. All these years, Minsk made you out to be the devil himself. But I've seen you put it on the line for men who'd otherwise be hunting you down. Your Emperor's the one should be brought to justice. All I ever wanted was for folks to live free. Charging into battle with a stranger. Taking enemy fire, holding the line shoulder to shoulder, that's the great equalizer of war. It's an honor to fight at your side. I sure do appreciate that, General. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night Donnie Vermillion had himself committed to the Dominion Mental Health Center here on Core Hall. While the nature of his abrupt mental breakdown remains unknown, we do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Mengsk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. Okay, I get the peanut butter. But why the fucking socks? Over as chief anchor here at UNN. For UNN, I'm Kate Lockwell. Woo! Yes! Woo!